For the first time in 53 years, NASA just stacked a rocket capable of flying astronauts to the moon, but that's not today's headline. NASA acting administrator just put SpaceX and Blue Origin on the clock. So I'm going to open up uh, the, the contract. Welcome back to the Launchpad. I'm Zach, and this is your TLP Space News Update. NASA Acting Administrator Sean Duffy just dropped a major announcement that could reshape the future of America's return to the moon under the Artemis program. Yeah, by the way, I love SpaceX. It's an amazing company. The problem is they're behind. In a pair of interviews, Duffy said he plans to, quote, open up the contract SpaceX currently holds to land astronauts on the lunar surface for Artemis 3, saying the company has fallen behind schedule. Speaking on CNBC and Fox News, Duffy explained that while SpaceX remains an amazing company and doing remarkable things, their Starship Lunar Lander isn't ready as fast as NASA needs. We're in a race against China. The president and I want to get to the moon in this uh, president's term. So to speed things up, Duffy said NASA will now allow other American companies to compete for the Artemis III lunar landing effectively launching a new space race within the U.S. commercial sector. One of the names mentioned was Blue Origin, which has already had a separate contract with NASA for its Blue Moon Mark II lander designated for missions starting with Artemis V. Blue Origin could potentially adapt its smaller Mark I vehicle for a crewed flight, though experts note it currently lacks the capability to lift off from the moon with a meaningful payload. Just, just a small problem. Lockheed Martin has also confirmed it's analyzing human lunar lander concepts and is forming a cross-industry team to respond to Duffy's call. We've seen them do this before. In a late-day statement, NASA Press Secretary Bethany Stevens confirmed that both SpaceX and Blue Origin have been asked to submit an accelerated proposal by October 29th. NASA will also issue a broader request for information from the commercial space sector on how to increase the cadence of the moon's mission overall. This is a rare statement coming from NASA during the government shutdown. The comments mark the first time NASA leadership has publicly admitted that SpaceX's human landing system, the lunar version of Starship, is running behind schedule. Now, Duffy had previously maintained Artemis III would launch in 2027, but now he acknowledges that the mission would likely slip a couple of years beyond that, meaning a late decade landing at best. Elon Musk, meanwhile, doesn't seem too concerned when asked on social media about other companies possibly overtaking SpaceX. He replied simply, they won't. He added SpaceX is moving lightning compared to the rest of the space industry. Starship will end up doing the whole moon mission, mark my words. The Artemis 3 mission aims to land the first woman and the next man on the lunar surface, marking humanity's return to the moon for the first time since Apollo 17 in 1972. But with Starship still in development and NASA now opening the door to other players, the path back to the moon just got a lot more interesting. So what do you think? Should NASA stick with SpaceX or should they bring in competitors to maybe speed things up? Let us know in the comments. For the Launchpad, I'm Zach. Thanks for watching. Because space is better together, I'll see you next time.